the time had come. I had gotten the guards drunk and was awaiting my husband's return from the murder. I would have stabbed the king myself if he hadn't looked so much like my father while he was sleeping. But I knew that my husband could do it and that he was willing to carry the guilt of murder. All he had needed was a little push from me. I heard a shout and feared that he had been caught. What were we going to do if he was caught? How would we manage to get through this? There was no explaining around it if someone saw you actually stabbing the king. Just when I started to let panic overtake me, I saw it. He was manic, but I could talk him down. He just committed regicide after all. I needed him to snap out of it because he was beginning to sound like a madman. And just when I was sure we were home free, I saw the daggers. Seriously, he had one job. How could he have taken the daggers with him? We needed to make it look like the guards committed the murder so that we would not be suspected. Once again, he wimped out on me, proving that if you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. So I set up the scapegoat and returned to see Macbeth descending into madness again. The only way to get him out of this was to get him busy doing something. So I got our hands cleaned, got us in our nightgowns, and got us into bed. So it was as if nothing had happened. 